Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic. Today, I want to speak about the similarities between the ZT-0770 and the standard size Natrix by Kershaw. When speaking on the 0770, many people compare it to the bare knuckle, which I can understand why, but I'm a fan of the Natrix, and I notice the bills are exactly the same. Made from the same blade mold, same blade grinds, with the flats and spine areas different from one another. The Natrix is lighter by 0.1 of an ounce or 2.8 grams, which is undetectable by hand observation. A couple of reasons why the ZT-0770 is so good and also areas it beats the Natrix in are its amazingly thin and light solid carbon fiber scales, with the Natrix sporting a carbon fiber laminate atop of a G10 scale. The ZT utilizes a tab locking system which keeps the handle's thickness at 0.4 of an inch, while the Natrix handle's thickness is 43 hundredths of an inch. And even after I've upgraded this Kershaw's blade steel to D2, the best steel the Natrix blade is forged in, the 0770 has it beat hands down, its blade being comprised of S35VN. The pivot design as well as ZT's clip are also steps above the Natrix. With this outdated so-called decorative pivot and countlessly reissued pocket clip. And finally, the jimping atop of the 0770's spine is more functional and looks more appealing, just as with the ZT's handle appearance. Although the Natrix has more contouring going on, the look added to the non-show side by using a tab lock really placed the aesthetics of the build way beyond that of any Natrix. And with that subframe lock that requires torque from the pocket clip screws to anchor the locking system, I truly believe this part of the Natrix to be of horrible design because they in fact have made the pocket clip reversible, pretty much asking the consumer to lose all detent. The one area I feel the builds are equally a letdown in is the backspacers. I don't know if the ZTs is G10 or GFN like Kershaw's, but they should all be taken to the next bonfire and chunked in. Not only these, but every single one at all of the factories. Just shave the weight and run the standoffs. And I know the spacer protects against keys, coins, and other edge offenders while in pocket, but it needs to be redesigned or go. Now on to the areas the nature tends to shine brighter in. Number one for me, and the biggest difference, is their action. The ZT-0770 is using assisted opening, and for what reason on earth, I can't figure out. With the assisted opening means running bronze washers, and stiff lackluster action beyond spring tension. The spring snap is hard like a Kershaw automatic, but being a fidgeter of my knife first, ZT has definitely killed all the fun and taken away any fidget factor by adding the AO and not having a fuller along the blade. The Natrix, however, is the polar opposite. I know its fidget factor is the primary reason for me ranking it amongst the best in budget for me personally. The deployment is super crisp. The travel is glassy and smooth, while lockup is solid and emits a satisfying sound. Then there is the second means of deployment. And let me just say, I often hear people say it's the smooth fuller and it can be flicked. Then they try a thumb flick from directly adjacent to the pivot. People, this is a fuller, not finger studs. And just a little secret I've noticed, the first area along the fuller, especially when a finger notch is present, that particular area is usually, not always, but usually usable in a pinch pull, slow roll kind of manner, and that way only. Not to mention, you are applying additional lock bar and detent hole pressure from your thumb. So, um, yeah, but no. Now using the theory of leverage, if you mosey your thumb right on down towards the far end, gain some leverage, and bing, there it goes, a thumb flick. Let me do it again so you can see. And it's even so easy, a pinky could do it. The point is, look at all that damn fidgety fun there is just by adding a fuller, or even some studs, and ZT, not external stop pins. And that's just on the deployment. Now as far as the coming home party, the ZT is kinda like watching that old TV show, Intervention. The blade is on its way back, then boom, mid-travel, the blade is blindsided by a resisting force that's so awkward and cringy to watch. And all that blade wants to do is either be left alone or just slip past everyone and run. But no, seriously, this is just as awkward as retracting a strong sprung auto with one hand. And yes, I did perform my very own personal tune on the Natrix. Although it's not factory set, this can be done without too much effort. And just look at that retraction. Not quite tuned to fall shut, but very dialed in. And with just one movement, the blade's weight will carry it home. And excuse the copper, beater, slash user. The G10 model I own is currently undergoing some mods at the moment. D2 upgrade, a shave flipper tab, polished blade, and paint job. But they both have the same action. 
I tuned the pair so I would know. But this also leads me to the fit and finish of the knives where the wind was definitely going to ZT but the damn blade is way off. And when I crank the pivot and centering becomes correct, the pivot is too tight on the scales and the blade won't deploy. The Natrix is dead center after heavy use, being dropped, beat on, and flicked a hundred times a day. It still remains centered. With the ZT winning in build material, looks, hardware, and lock design, the Natrix wins in fit and finish, fidget factor, deployment and retraction or action areas, deployment methods, weight, and price point. The Natrix being about 45 bucks and the ZT costing 195 bucks. And I believe it's the same argument as the Gen 5 XM18 versus the ball bearing 0562. Except for here, in this case, ZT is the one stuck in the Stone Age. In conclusion, I must say, the Natrix kicked the snot, or in this case, the spring out of ZT's ass, ist. And for about a quarter of the price, it just doesn't even come close. In the beginning, for those in the know, the Natrix was introduced with the spring assist. And after years of everyone asking Kershaw why, they gave us a KVT bearings Natrix along with an awesome action. So zero tolerance. If you're out there, God, please ditch the spring, mill some simple bearing races into the pivot area, mill a fuller of some type. It would be an instant hit for years to come. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Is the ZT0770 better? If you believe so, state why. And if you're Team 7007 by Kershaw, please tell everyone your reasoning and thoughts on it as well. Until next time, signing off, the Fuller Fanatic.